the way it's made is uh, it keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. I don't know how the hell it does that, but it does. I have had absolutely no problem wearing it um, in the 70 degree of the weather that we had a couple weeks ago. And I was running around <laughs> everywhere with ace bandage on and shit. Um, and uh, if you get, like, this is um, the summer shirt, so it's really thin. That's why it uh, got tore up so easily. But if you get the winter shirt, um, it's like several, several layers thicker. And it'll probably last them much longer. But uh, most of them are like long sleeves all the way down to your wrists. Um, I think those are $50. Oops, it sounds like a lot, but it, it, I, I swear they're fucking worth it. I mean, um, you can get the summer shirt. Which is thirty, thirty-five dollars, I think, somewhere around there. Um, but uh, if you can find one with just normal sleeves, I think they might make quarter-length sleeves that come down to uh, here-ish, so here or here. I don't know. I think they might make quarter-length or normal sleeves. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. But um, if they do that, I would definitely suggest doing that. If you don't wear a uh, sleeveless shirts too much but because uh, uh, these straps they will bug you <laughs> I guarantee it they will bug you um, that's like the only downfall that I've seen with it but uh, it's pretty easy to adjust the sleeveless version but uh, I, I very rarely wear a tank top anyway and when I do try to wear a tank top my friends won't let me out of the house with it, so, um, I always end up wearing short sleeves, and they're so fucking big that they end up being quarter sleeves, so, I mean, if I were to get some sleeved version of an Under Armour shirt, uh, it's not like it would really show, and it would provide so much more comfort for the binder, but, um, wow, yeah, get the Under Armour Right, get the Under Armour and the Underworks. Hey, that, that's an easy way to remember it. Under Armour, Underworks. Um, Under Armour, you can find in just about any sports store. Uh, I got mine from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, and I do recommend getting a small size in it. Because um, you... Um, it helps slim down things. So, that's always good. Um, and it's, uh, you don't want something that's loose. I'll just tell you that right then. Um, a compression fit, very tight thing. Because uh, Under Armour expands a lot. I mean, look at this. They could do that the day I bought it, too. I mean, it expands, it contracts. Um, e even if you get a sm very small size and it's skin tight on you, you'll eventually get used to it. And then you'll, um, if you wear it very often, um, you'll eventually make it bigger. Then all you have to do is pop it in the dryer and it'll shrink back to its normal size. And then you can just repeat the process. But, uh, I do recommend keeping your cats away from it. Mine ripped that huge hole that you saw into it. Um, I mean, obviously you wouldn't be able to see it with the binder on, or a shirt on, but, um, it's probably not good to have huge holes in it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend the Under Armour Underworks combo for anyone, especially the larger guys. Because larger guys need um, something uh, comfortable and something that will bind. And this just gives you about as much freedom as you would have. Like This is about the most freedom you can probably have until you get top surgery. Uh, uh, words cannot express how excited I am over this. Um, Yeah, 
go look up Under Armour, go look up Underworks. Um, if you have any more questions about Underworks binders, definitely ask me because I am more than willing to share because when I was buying mine, I was not sure what the hell to expect. Um, then I bought, then I got it in the mail, and I had to spend 20 minutes trying to figure out how the hell to put it on, because it wouldn't go over my head with both of my arms in it. I mean, shit was complicated, and it's really hard, it was really hard to take off. And this is still pretty hard to take off, I mean, I have to, like, reach around, grab the back of it, and pull it, and then pull one arm up. And then finish pulling it off the rest of the way. Because it's so tight on me. And it doesn't expand, so. And I can't just do like this. Because it's so fucking tight. That it, it, um, that's about the easiest way to put it on. I mean, getting it on and off is the hardest part. But after that, um, it's pretty amazing. I was very surprised at how well it was. I, like, how well it binds. I mean, it's really, uh, no, really not all that much flatter than I was before, but damn, to be able to get that kind of effect, excuse me, it's like 3 in the morning, um, to get that kind of effect, and all I'm wearing is the binder, I got no, I mean, I had to wear the Minimizer Sports Bra, um, I had to wear the ace bandage wrap around three times, and I wore my underworks shirt, uh, my, my, uh, under armor shirt over top of it all to make me look like I was an inch smaller around than I really am. Um, and I wore that all day, every day, um, well, not all day, but, um, anytime I went out, I wore all of that, plus a really baggy shirt on top of it, and it still looked horrible. Now all I have is the Under Armour shirt and the binder. I don't have to wear a bra, no ace bandage. It's amazing. I love it. Um, so definitely, I recommend that. Um, it. I, I I can't express how amazing it is. I just feel so much more comfortable in myself and confident because I. I'm sitting here, I don't have a bra on, and I'm fully supported, and I feel like I could go out and run around and be just fine, and like, the thing that bugged me the most about Ace Bandage is that you could feel it through your shirt, I mean, if you rubbed here, you could feel the bunches, and if you rubbed on your back, you could feel it, it I felt like you had a weird kind of bra on, I mean, you feel back in here, I mean, you can still kind of feel that something's there, it feels kind of more like a bra or an undershirt, but I, it, uh, shit, if you got an extra Under Armour shirt to put on top of all this, you wouldn't feel a thing, because my Under Armour shirt put on top of all that ace bandage and shit, you can still feel it right through it, you get an Under Armour shirt to put on top of this, you're not going to feel nothing, and people, uh, you can just tell them you got an Under Armour shirt on, That'll account for the weird smooth feeling, but if people won't suspect a thing, I wouldn't assume, I wouldn't think people would suspect a thing. But um, yeah, that's definitely something I haven't seen in anyone else's trans blogs mentioning Under Armour. So yeah, that's a huge uh, help that I've used. I mean, Under Armour itself is not good for binding really at all because it expands so much and it'll make you look a little bit flatter but honestly winter under armor could probably hide somebody who already doesn't have boobs <laughs> I mean, like you know the girls with them girls guys whatever, with the mosquito bites uh, that's about all it would do for them but um yeah under Armour and Underworks. If you got any questions, ask away. I will be more than happy to help. And I'm going to cut this off before it's a four-parter for two seconds. Alright, Wolfgang out.